Good morning, brothers and sisters. Hebrews 11, 28 through 29 says, By faith Moses kept the Passover in the sprinkling of blood, so that he who destroyed the firstborn might not touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as though they were passing through dry land, and the Egyptians, when they attempted it, were drowned. Today I want to talk about the man or woman of faith gratefully accepts all God's provisions no matter how pointless some of them may seem. When the time came for Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, everything on the human level said it couldn't be done. Pharaoh wasn't about to let two to three million slaves just pack up and leave. His army was ready to ensure that no such exodus occurred. But when God devises a plan, he always makes the necessary provisions for carrying it out. On this occasion, his provision came in the form of ten terrifying plagues designed to change Pharaoh's mind. The tenth and worst plague was the death of all the firstborn. Exodus 11 verse 5. To protect themselves from this plague, the Israelites sprinkled the blood of a lamb on the doorposts and lintels of their homes. When the angel of death saw the blood, he passed over the house. Thus, the Passover was instituted. The blood from the first Passover lambs had no intrinsic power to stave off the death angel, but its presence demonstrated faith and obedience, thus symbolizing the future sacrifice of Christ. John 1 verse 29. Pharaoh got the message and allowed the Israelites to leave, but soon afterward he changed his mind and commanded his army to pursue them. Again, God intervened by parting the Red Sea, allowing his people to walk across on dry land. He then drowned the entire Egyptian army when it followed the Israelites into the sea. That was a graphic demonstration of a lesson every believer must learn. God's provisions are always best. They may sometimes seem foolish to the human intellect, just as the word of the cross is to those who are perishing foolishness. 1 Corinthians 1.18 But the man or woman of faith trusts God and receives his provisions gratefully. Let us thank God for the wise and gracious provisions he has made for our salvation and our ongoing Christian walks. Maranatha.